My grandfather often tries to persuade me that he is still groovy. But how groovy can he be if he still uses the word groovy? I actually like the way that that's written because they're saying, yeah, look, my grandfather often tries to per persuade me that he is still groovy. And that means kind of cool for those of you who, who might be too young to know what groovy means. But that's, that's a good point. But how groovy can he be if he still uses this word groovy? So I, I like that. This but kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of turning the tide on the first part of the sentence. So I, I, and that's why you would use a but. But so I, I'm, I'm leaning towards no change, but let's feel good that we can rule out the other choices. My grandfather often tries to persuade me that he is still groovy because how groovy can he be if he, if he still uses the word groovy? Well, because implies that the grandfather does this thing because of this thing. So because of how groovy can he be, that's the reason why he tries to persuade him or his, his, his granddaughter or his grandson that he's still groovy. No, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't make, make sense. My grandfather often tries to persuade me that he is still groovy. Meaning, how groovy can he be if he still uses the word groovy? No, that, that also doesn't make sense because meaning would, would mean that there's some type of a clarifying that is going on of, of the first part of the clause. And that's not what's going on here. You actually have kind of a, a opposition to the first clause. It's kind of contradicting it a little bit. It's like, well, how groovy can he be if he still uses the word groovy? And that's why but is a really good thing there. My grandfather often tries to persuade me that he's still groovy since how groovy can he be if he still uses the word groovy? So once again, you know, since kind of draws a natural, a natural cause and effect. Since this, this is happening. But it isn't, it, it, it isn't since how groovy he can be, uh, how, how groovy can he be if he still uses the word groovy? That's not somehow causing him to, to, to persuade his grandchild that he's still groovy. So this also doesn't feel right at all. I really like this. These two clauses are kind of in opposition. They kind of contradict in a, in a, they don't contradict, but this second clause opposes the first one in kind of a fun way. It turns the tide back on it by using the word groovy uh, in, in itself. So it's actually just a, a fun sentence. So let me actually fill in the answer. Don't want to forget filling in your answer.